Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Hopefully you all are doing great and anxiously waiting for a reunion at school. I'm glad to start our lesson. Uh, it's a reading comprehension. Uh, the extract has been taken from your book Language Tree 7. Before we start reading, I just want to share some objectives with you and uh, do you, um, I think you must have an idea why these objectives are important because um, uh, these objectives will provide uh, you a clear purpose to focus your learning efforts and they will also help us to you know uh, establish desired results so we just have to uh, see what our objectives are today um, the set of objectives are students will be able to number one recognize the type of the text first thing you have to find you have to focus on is the type of the text uh, I believe you will find it uh, immediately to you just look at the text, you will find it out which kind of um, text is this, whether it's a narrative, it's a story, it's a novel or what, right? Second is interpret and discuss the importance of learning domestic skills. Domestic skills are things we do at our household, uh, the household affairs or all the work we do in our house it's, that is domestic skills. You have to be focused about this point that why, what is the important, why do we learn it? And the next one is predict the idiomatic terms used in the comprehension passage. There are different idioms used here and uh, you just have to underline them. You have to find it out what kind of uh, terms these are. And uh, if you don't have any idea, I will definitely explain it to you. Don't worry about it. And the la last one is attempt the assignment. We have an assignment that you will have to attempt after going through the lesson. Okay, so uh, let's uh, go to the topic we have today our topic is pull your weight the reading comprehension as i have told you earlier pull your weight <coughs> uh, it's it's a phrase apparently right and it has a meaning <coughs> seemingly it's different it has a meaning uh, something associated with your weight perhaps you have to put on uh, some weight or lose some weight in order to keep yourself fit this is just a parent meaning that is coming to my mind. I don't know, uh, you can have your own ideas here. But um, idioms are actually <coughs> phrases which have a different meaning apparently and they have a figurative or metaphoric meaning which is hidden. So this uh, particular phrase, pull your weight, has uh, uh, a hidden meaning which is the actual meaning actually and um, it suggests one's share of work, doing one's share of work. Like you have to pull your weight and rest all will be adjusted. You have to do your share of work and rest will be adjusted of course. Similarly, we have different, you must have heard about a piece of cake. Um, I may say driving out to your house at night is a piece of cake. What does this suggest? Do you think it's a piece of cake lying in the plate, a plate in front of you and uh, or it's something else? Yes, it has a hidden meaning and its meaning is something, an easy task, okay? Now coming to your extract. This is page number one. I have typed the whole extract here. Uh, even um, for the students who, uh, if you are not having your books at home, so you can take help from here and you can go through it. You need to go through it thoroughly, okay? And underline all the idioms. This is page one. On the left hand side, uh, there are some characters on right hand side, it's kind of conversation. So looking at the test, what do you think? Which kind of text is this? Is it a novel, uh, a story, a drama or what? Yes, it's a dialogue. It's a conversation between uh, mommy and uh, her children, Khatija and Jabbar. This is page number two. also the extract they are having a conversation about fixing something at home and they have plans for some guests and all that we will just go through it um, thoroughly and then we will discuss synopsis or summary by the teacher so uh, here it is This text is a dialogue between a mother and her two children, Khatija and Jabbar. They are planning to clean their uh, house for an upcoming visit of a guest. And who is the guest? Yes, Auntie Nida is the guest who is coming from London to spend some a few days with the family. And mommy wants Khatija to clean and vacate the room uh, for her auntie's uh, stay because uh, her clothes are strewn all over the floor. 
strewn all over so you must have heard about it this is another idiom used here you will underline it and strewn all over the place what do you think what does this mean are they well they are uh, well kept all the clothes are well kept in the cupboard stacked properly or they are haphazardly spread everywhere yes they are scattered and spread haphazardly everywhere right this is the actual meaning strewn all over the place uh, another thing I would like to discuss here is an idiom um, is an expression that exists in every language. We have our idioms in Urdu language as well. They are kind of um, expressions that are used by the natives and mostly they have an interesting story behind their formation. Okay, we cannot go in detail of course, but, but there is something. Okay, next is mommy also wants Jabbar to lend a hand while she is busy cooking in the kitchen but he refuses to help her. Why does he refuse? Because he doesn't know how to cook. And here uh, mommy explains it and she makes it a point and wants to discuss it with, uh, with the children that why domestic skills, uh, learning the domestic skills is important. You should also come up with your ideas. What do you think? Why are these, uh, why domestic skills are so important in our life? Because um however we know them a little bit but to be to practice them well we need to learn them properly right in order to become independent and to be able to look after ourselves when needed we shouldn't be uh, dependent on others all the time right then jabbar argues a little and suggests that khatija should also learn the tasks which are mostly performed by male members of the family for instance, replacing fuses or putting up shelves. However, Mummy explains uh, there is nothing like man's work or woman's work. Khatija and Jabbar, they promise to help their mommy or when their aunt will visit them, they will help their mother, they, they promise that. And um, in this ex extract, lots of idioms have been used. You will have to find them yourself because I have discussed only a few of them strewn all over the place, lend a hand, pull your weight, etc, etc. A few more are also there and you, you, you need to learn their meaning, okay? And after that, you will attempt your assignment. Now we'll go to the next slide and that is recap. So we have gone through the lesson. We have learned about the idioms, about their meanings, about their, um, their usage in the language. And after going through it, I believe we have attained um, our we have attained our objectives that we set in the beginning of the lesson and uh, the first point here is after the completion of the lesson we are able to recognize the type text uh, do you think we have uh, achieved this target yes we have achieved it we we know which kind of text type um, this was which kind of text this was second is know the importance of learning and learning the domestic skills we have learned that also next one is identify and interpret the idioms yes we have identified them and we know about them a lot now and we know how they have been used in uh, uh, language which kind of expression they have and next is attempt the assignment successfully i hope you will be able to do that yourself thank you so much